as we get closer and closer to June 6th, the start of the NBA Finals, it got me thinking about some of the greatest teams to ever win. Now, a lot of us was born late 90s, so we can't really tell you about the 70s, the 80s, or even For part sure. of the 90s. So let's yeah. start off in the year 2000. Who are the five best teams to win a championship since well, then? Automatically. Oh, Kobe and Shaq. Yeah, we mm. started in 2000. I, they were dominant for those first three years of the 2000s. No one could beat them. Allen Iverson <laughs> is crazy, man. Took a because game. Because Iverson, yeah, the taking the game one was Fifty so in the game one too. E iconic. But not only was it iconic, that was the only loss that they had. That, that yeah. team could have ran a table yeah. of the entire play. Imagine how crazy. Imagine somebody doing that in today's league. Yeah. Like the, the Mavericks just swept everybody. Yeah. That would just be kind of crazy. It's kind of hard. You don't really see that often no more because I feel like now there's going to be a night where a team just gets hot from three. Mm -hmm. And, like, you just won't – there's nothing you can really do. So, like, it, it's it's so good back Nobody then you saw dominance. Nobody got Shaq either. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. true. <laughs> so, we, we saying, what, 0-1 Lakers probably yeah. the better team? Because that's the sure. one that saw the, the 76ers. Okay. I'm going to put my bid out for the 17 Golden State Warriors. Hey, yeah. We talk about dominance. was, like, a dynamic duo that couldn't be stopped. Yeah. I think they also only lost one game. In that Which entire run, who? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure they they went. Did they lose to the, Didn't they lose to the Cavs? No. Oh, they did. They lost the game to the Cavs in the finals. Yes, they did. Which one? I don't remember which one, but it is, but it I, is confirmed. I, you know what's funny? That game gets lost to me as well because I think <laughs> they swept them, but when I see that it, it wasn't. Uh, a they definitely swept them a few times now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Cavs team from 2016. Um, oh. They came back from 3-1 against the Warriors. I think we saw LeBron and Kyrie Irving go out there and just put on the master class. Mm. LeBron heard those comments from Klay Thompson from his prep. Pre no, fellas. No, comments. fellas. NBA Finals 2017 is 4-0. Oh, then that might not be the one. So the Cavs four, did four have oh. a series where they won one game. They did. They sure did. But it, that's probably just not the one. But okay. The thing, look, at, look at the year after that because the Cavs 100% yeah. the the took year, one away from the KD. So Warriors. in 2016... 2017. Okay, that's the one. That's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, 2016, okay. 2017. Yep. Yep, that's the one. They took yeah, one. Four one. And you know what? Add that to LeBron legacy. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is the greatest constructed team ever, bro. Ever. Yeah. Um, we yeah, gotta like, throw in one of these. Yeah, go ahead. We gotta throw in one of these Heat teams too. Yeah. Bron, Wade, Chris Bosh, and they had nice role players too. Probably 12, 13. Is that uh, that's the that's one when they, Spurs? No, that that's the Thunder one, right? The when they beat the Young Thunder? No, I thought 12 13 was the no, Ray Allen shot. No, they beat the Spurs. They beat the Spurs. Okay. Yeah, that's the Ray Allen okay. shot. Yep. And in 13 14 is when they beat the Thunder. Yeah. That Ray Allen shot saved so much, bro. Man. I'm sorry. But, like, it, we could be looking at that big three and saying they only want one. Mm -hmm. But instead, that Ray Allen shot just helped them get three. Yeah. I was reading, uh, is it Kirk Goldsberry? Yes. I was reading his Atlas book, and um, he talked about that shot. Because the evolution of the, the corner threes and how the Spurs implemented it with Bruce Bowen and then Danny Green and how LeBron also was a big part of that because he generated so many corner threes to his teammates. But then he talked about that specific play because Bosch got the rebound, but then Ray Allen hit the shot, but he backpedaled yes, yeah, to yeah. the three. And it's so that's so unorthodox and so tough. And he just talked about how he asked, um, he talked to Bosch and Bosch had asked Ray Allen, like, man, you work on that? He like work on it all the time because yeah. like, <laughs> how many basketball players are vi envisioning themselves backpedaling into a corner mm -hmm. three point shot? It's got to be a great feeling to work on something and see it happen. I mean, in he's real always time. been. For Ray real. Allen said that like he be showing up hours and hours before the game just to work mm -hmm. on his shot, and he's proven it. I mean, he's one of the best shooters of all time, so you got to believe it. No, for sure. I just think that that moment is a good for the youth to show work smarter, not harder. Yes, because mm -hmm. you can get a. You can get 1,500 shots up and say, still miss he every really shot. Did. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to say the 14 Spurs Gotta should be get in there, Gotta get Spurs some love. I mean, uh, that, that Spurs, the 07 Spurs. That was the, the 14 Spurs. The reason I'm putting there, because with Boris D out there, that team played fluently the most fundamental brand of basketball and the most fun brand of basketball without having a Braun or some yeah, guy that's absolutely. just going to be super highlight-oriented. The one more passes you saw from Manu and Boris absolutely. and TP, come on, man. Uh -huh. And to go on to win a championship after, like, you know how tough it must have been to lose on that shot. Well, they didn't lose on that shot, yeah, but yeah. lose to Ray For Allen, sure. go to over overtime, lose that. Because they had that game. Yes. Which they, was the series. I mean, they had the Larry O'Brien trophy just yeah, waiting. waiting. That right was the there. series. Yeah. So for them to come back and say, we good, we going to get another – that takes a lot of poise. It was led by, of course, a great coach and Greg Popovich and, and Tim Duncan as the guy. So Kawhi that, Leonard, though. Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard's finals MVP. Young Kawhi. That was like, I think that was the I'm here now a moment for Kawhi Leonard. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of sort of was. 
and the funny thing is, this year and then a year after when the Warriors uh, beat the Cavs for the first time, we got two finals MVPs who averaged less than 18 points per game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of crazy. I yeah. think another Kawhi's part of this team's legacy is that it ended the Heatles. Yes. Yeah, the Heat did. lost that series yes, in five. Mm-hmm. Yes, In five? And then Bron was like, I'm, I'm coming home. I just love this home. roster, by the way. Like yeah. you said, there's no Durant, Bron, Curry. You know what I mean? Obviously, Tim Duncan and these guys are legendary. But this is a 37-year-old Tim Duncan. This mm-hmm. is a 22-year-old Kawhi. This is a Danny Green who got bounced around. Tim Duncan was 37, still walling up at the rim and protecting and yeah. protecting the Bellinelli. Pain. Underrated part. Tim Aaron Duncan Baines. took a huge pay cut to put that team together. And it paid off with a later Matt Earth. Bonner, yeah. Corey Joseph. I wish oh, we man. saw Keep a lot going. of guys do that later in their career. Patty yeah. Mills. Who you? Who are you talking about now? LeBron. Uh, <laughs> LeBron I think it's no a big cut. difference of taking a pay cut and a minimum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But big, LeBron wants that. Difference. If he wants number five, it's going to be teams that's willing to, to give him that minimum. Any random favorite championship team that may not, I know we just talked about the yeah. best. The Toronto any, Raptors one. Um, just seeing Kawhi, he went through all that adversity with the Spurs. We didn't really think that was going to have a turn to anything. Mm-hmm. And then he gets traded, he gets his get back. He gets traded, and then he goes and win a championship there instead of doing it with San Antonio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, a, that's one of my favorite one-year moments. Yeah. I think I, most of that is the shot against the 76, if I'm yes, being honest sure. with you. But I think that season, you could argue that Kawhi Leonard was the best player in the world. Yeah. Yes. Just for one that's year. Sure. Yeah, which is crazy. I yeah. still remember that moment when Nick Nurse was like, what are we going to do with Giannis? And Kawhi was like, no, I'm guarding Giannis. <laughs> and that's the whole turning point of the series. Yeah. Two finals that stand out to me so much is the first one Kobe got Without Shaq, mm-hmm. when they came, when they had to come back after losing to the big three Boston Celtics, they beat a uh, young Dwight Howard team. That's 09. in Orlando, yeah. And then the other one is a Dirk one when he beat. Oh, yeah. when they, not he, but yeah, they beat that first version of the Heatles. That was mind blowing, man. Because, because that was a team. 20. Yeah, that was a team. Not only what, yeah, were they down that much and he was struggling, but that was a team that was also put together to win not one, not two, not three. In that first year, mm-hmm. this underdog Maverick team. Took them down in the very first day. And that's, that's such a – and Jason Kidd was finally able to get one. That's just a – Yeah. I don't know. That was a special one. One of my favorites, too. Yeah. The conversation around Dirk, if he didn't get that one, would have been crazy. Yeah. So I'm happy that he got his before he, it all ended for him. Because before that was We, we Believe yeah. taking yeah. him out as yeah. the eighth seed was and the was biggest MVP thing. that season. So yep. winning MVP – and then getting eliminated in the first round is the one seed? Come on. He, that's get back, too, because the young D-Wade and Shaq yes. beat the Mavs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, 06, and he, and he yeah. gamed them in that last. In that last he, hit the, he hit the game with the layup. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I remember LeBron and Wade mocking him because he was sick. <laughs> yep. Come yeah, on, man. And Dirk, he said it's all water under the bridge. He was on Dwayne Wade's podcast a yeah, few respectful months back. Guy. So, yeah. you know, no, in the heat of the moment, it's cool. all just family competition. That's all. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. So.